Hi there. I'm so glad you could join me today. As you can see, I've already colored in my holly berries and the leaves. And I'm just going to have you join me for the background. And I'm going to start with these ribbons here in the background that are folded and are fun to color. Especially using these chameleon pens because they specialize in these beautiful shading techniques. And you can check out their website to see exactly how they work. But basically you attach a clear ink tip to touch the color ink tip and you let the color ink tip soak up the clear ink um, for a few seconds. The duration of time depends on how long you want your fade to be. I've cut out the few seconds in between my tips soaking up the clear ink for you because otherwise this video would be over an hour long. <laughs> so all you see is whenever the pen is touching the paper. But the pens do cut out a lot of extra time because normally you would need to use three different ink pen colors to create such a beautiful fade. You'd need a light tone, a mid-tone, and a dark tone. But with these, you just hold that clear ink tip to the color tip for a few seconds, and you start from the lightest point, and then you color away, and it deepens as the ink color pushes the clear color out. I'm just going to keep doing this for a little while and you can just enjoy the music and relax. Now here I'm just going to start blocking in some solid color because these sections of the ribbon are pushed further back into the image. And I will go back and add some darker shading after I'm done with this part. I'd like to mention that the music today is provided by The Piano Guys. This is from their Christmas album, released in 2013. Okay, now I'm going to start these shadows. Again, I'm using the fading qualities of the chameleon pens. I've chosen 
a different color to use for the back side of the ribbon. And it's going to be this lovely lavender color. Now to continue to add depth, I'm taking the dark blue that I used to fade in the shadows of the ribbon and just drawing lines right along the edge where the purple backside of the ribbon meets the top of the ribbon. All right, moving on to a new color. I'm using yellow, and I'm gonna make this kind of a gold 3D looking ribbon right along the center. But we're gonna start by adding our base color, which is gonna be this gorgeous gold yellow. And we'll add in the shading in just a moment. Now comes the shadows to really make this ribbon pop. And I'm using an orange and I'm blending it into the yellow. Now I didn't hold that clear ink to the tip long enough for that first little section. And in a minute here I'm going to go back and smooth it out. And I'll show you how in just a minute. And I'm taking the yellow and I'm going back over that line. And as you can see, it softened it up really nicely. And that's a kind of a nice trick to learn when you're dealing with these alcohol ink pens. And a good reason why you should put down a base color first when you're dealing with shadows, because you can always go back with that base color and soften up the edges if the fade isn't exactly how you like it. Right, I'm going to start on this band down here with this Zen Doodle pattern and I'm just going to add down a base color of pink and I'll go back in and add some depth later with a darker color. You may have noticed that I already have a dark pink line all the way to the left there 
and I made a mistake. Um, I started out with a color that I felt was too rich, and so I changed my mind. And I will make it work. And that's the fun part of coloring. We don't make mistakes. We make happy accidents, as Bob Ross used to say. Now comes a fun part for me. I'm going to add in a pattern into this blank spot. I've left some of these large spaces when I make my doodles. I left them blank for you to fill in your own patterns. So those are purposely done because I want you to get creative and add what you feel the piece needs. Now I didn't choose to do this pattern in black because I wanted it to be another part of the color scheme. And you can do that too. You can choose your own Zen pattern to do and you can just choose another color to do it in. I chose to do the swirl pattern to mirror the rhythm of the swirls and the vines with the holly leaves. All right, another pattern um, I'm doing is just some simple striping. And I chose yellow to stick with our yellow, gold, and blue color scheme in the background. And I'm just keeping these lines really simple, just doing vertical lines. But you'll see that once it's done, it'll look really nice. I'm going to continue my pattern that on the other side of the blue and gold ribbon strip, I'm going to do these vines, these blue vines. I'm just try and keep things symmetrical. <laughs> 